Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine. I'm back on the river, already fishing back there. I'm fishing with big baits this morning in hopes of catching a big blue cat. Water's muddy, high. I'm using skipjack herring. Let's see what we can do. This is just an eight alt gamakatsu hook right here, folks. And I like to hook them right there. Right there in that belly cavity. That's good enough. And I'm not using real big baits. And I'm using a three ounce no roll sinker, a bead, swivel, and about a two foot leader. Like I said, 40 pound test on my main lines. Let's chunk it back out in there again. Well, as far as uh, water temp, right now it's 55 degrees on the surface, folks. High, muddy water situation right here. I'm fishing right on the edge of a brake line. I believe in those brake lines anywhere from 24 to 25 feet right here of water. And um, I'm fishing with silver, silver catfish rods they're seven feet long and these are medium heavy i've got an ambassador on this one and a cat max on this one 40 pound line and a 50 pound leader big circle hooks eight nine out circle hooks and we're gonna let these baits soak this is a good place right here good hole we're going to see if there's anything in it. A lot of rocks out here. A lot of places for big catfish to get in behind and see, seek a little bit of rest from the current. Now, if they smell one of these big baits, they'll come up the current and grab it. Hopefully. That's the game plan. Real simple. I don't know about that old man, Michael. <coughs> I don't know what's going on here. Now, if a fish has got it, he's under something. There we go, folks. What about that? Feels like a pretty good one right here. This is the first fish of the day right here. Eh, he ain't no gigantic, and, but he got under that log. I'm fishing a or log, a tree right here. But when he hit it, he, he immediately went under that log. I was lucky to get him out from under it. I keep saying log. There's a tree right out here behind us. Getting another bite right here too. We got two hookups right here. That's a good one right there. Take and drag. <laughs> I'm in a bind right here. I'm in a mess. Okay. What we'll do is just put this one in the bucket. I mean, put him in the boat. <laughs> oh, I hope that fish didn't get off. That was a good one right there. He was stripping drag. Uh, come here. Come here, boy. Well, that's one in the boat. Let me see what's going on back here. That fish could still be on. I don't know. Yeah, he's on. He pulled my anchor loose. These two fish just pulled my doggone anchor loose. But I know where that tree is. Golly. <laughs> he's cutting the rug now. Oh. That's a good one right there. He was play acting for a little bit. Yeah, my anchor cut loose when them big cats see it. But that tree is submerged right up there, about where that leaning tree is right there, if y'all can see it. Okay. Now I'm going to have to... Y'all excuse me. I'm going to have to get this one here off. I'm in a mess. He's in the net right there, and he's pretty heavy. <laughs> That's how it works right there. If I can just slide him out. <laughs> there we go. 
Come here, Blue. I was anchored in the perfect place right there. Alright. Golly. He's bigger than I thought it was. Thought he was. I can't even talk. I love this stuff. It's a blessing to get out here and hunt these fish. Woo! Okay. There's my fish anchor right there, folks. It's heavy. Probably about 25 pounds, but it's still a lot of current down through here. Whoa! And this current is really ripping. Y'all can see that. Really ripping. If I'd have had more rope out, we wouldn't have come undone. I'm close to my tree right here. I believe it's back just a little bit more. I may have to pull that anchor up and let it drift back, but we got to get back over that. It's hard enough just holding up one instead of two. Two good ones like that, folks. That's the big one. That's the biggest one right there. It was a pretty good catfish right there. Whew. Me holding them up again. In case y'all didn't see them. <laughs> okay. Good ones. That's just a lot of fun. The Lord blessed us when he made us this world. Well, let's let him go. <laughs> okay. There they go. Whew. Okay. Whoa. I'm talking about whoa. Let's catch another. Now, the bite's so slow that I'm not leaving the camera on, folks. Um, but what I do when I get a bite, especially if they're pulling water like this, or releasing water this fast, this hard, is I'll just wait till that fish hooks itself. Um, I never go up to the, the reel and, and get anxious and start reeling. There's no need to. If that catfish gets that bait in his mouth, he's going to hook himself in heavy current like this. If he don't, well, he's probably just a small one. I mean, even on a slow day, I just let them <laughs> hook theirself because they will. That circle hook and get them. I believe he's hooked himself, don't y'all? Uh-oh. My, my, my. Let me loosen this drag off just a little. This one may be a, a good one. Let's see. Yeah, he's a good fish, but I don't want to take no chance. He's fixing to come up to the top right here. This current something else, and it has been all this rain. Come on in here, Mo Bear. <laughs> I don't want him to get my other line. They'll do it every time to me. There we go. Here he comes. That's surprising. That fish ain't that big at all. My goodness. What would I do? What would I do, folks, in this kind of current if I hooked one about 60, 70 pounds? <laughs> It'd be awful, wouldn't it? Now I caught him on a big body piece. Looks like a male right there. I can tell. Ain't mean looking. Skin up though, ain't he? Come on in here, I'm gonna have to net him. He sure ain't that big. God, it was a mean catfish. Come on in here, quit. That's a big old gnarly male. Okay. <laughs> now we just had a bump right here on this one. Y'all watch it for me if y'all don't care. That fish has got some, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Got an issue or two for some reason. Hey, quit. They're so stout. There we go. He got a little problem right here, and I'll show it 
show it to you. He gonna bite me right here. I ain't got my glove on that. Now I gotta show this to you though. See that? I don't know what in the world would have happened right there. Look. And right there under his gill, I can't really feel sorry for him. Ah, let's let him go. He's heavy. He'll survive that. You know, catfish are tough. They are tough, tough, tough. There he goes. I bet he's glad of that. Still a lot of fun, folks. A lot of fun. So, if you want to relax, go catting around. No, not that kind of catting. Catfishing. A lot of fun. Hey, man, got to love it. And what I love more about it than anything is I love each and every one of y'all. All the great comments. Hey. Doggone. Woo! I'm a talking about woo by name. And you remember. Go fishing when you can, because it's good for you.